Good morning. Um, I traded PRQR from 660 to uh, 671, so 11 cents of loss. Um, right over here, shorts are getting squeezed right now. Um, in the six, it kept tapping 670 like numerous times and 670 was my risk. It would go like, um, at first I was looking at it in pre-market at 670, but then I was like, mm, I'm not sure I shouldn't buy in pre-market. And I finally caved right in the last minute of pre-market. And I was like, um, okay, let me just get in at 660. I don't want to miss any huge dump because they, they announced a public offering yesterday night. Um, uh, once again, and then, so today is that offering day. So I was like, okay, um, this seems like a much better entry, but it's above VWAP. So that would freak me out a little bit. Um, so I think this was like a $33 loss. Um, so overall on the month, I think I'm up like 140. I'm going to make a recap of the month video. And um, same thing for VTSI. They also announced a public offering today. So I was kind of torn between the two of them. But both of them would have actually gone against me regardless. So um, this was like FOMO. This is a much better patient entry knowing that there's – I feel like even though there's an offering, it's like such a short squeeze trap that happens, you know, cause shorts get really excited about offerings. Um, and then I think people wait to dump those shares once it gets like spikes up and squeezes everybody out and maybe lures in some buyers. Um, so, and maybe this entry isn't good. Maybe it will continue to go up. I'm not sure because really the point where it left off from yesterday is $7. So it could, be trying to go back up there just like it was over here in pre-market. But I'm done for the day, done for the month. And um, yeah, so it it tapped, uh, it pushed past VWAP and it tapped it. It was like um, six, 664, 665, 670, 666, 670, 663. Like it was a lot of like tapping. And I was like, okay, you know, I want to give myself the benefit of the doubt that does have an offering in it. Um, it just seemed to be stopping at this level, but if it goes to 671, then, you know, we're kind of done with the tapping and we're, we're getting pushed up and that was a good call. And I got filled right away because this pushed up another 20 cents. So I did waver on my risk level by one cent. I did get into the market early by one minute which, um, you know, is not a good idea, <laughs> but even if I would have waited for the market open, I probably would have entered here at 665 would have been squeezed out anyway. So this trade just wouldn't have worked out. Um, and I tried 300 shares again because I want to stay at this 300 sh share, um, like limit. And this made me remember like a childhood memory. So when I was younger, I would write the same letters over and over and over again. And I think it was like T-A-H-O or something like that, or T-A-O-H. And let, let's see if they're actually tickers. T-A-H-O, no, T-A-O-H, maybe a Chinese company. So I would write like four letters over and over and over and over and over again. And I just like made a connection that like maybe you know in some part of my brain maybe I knew I was going to be a trader like who knows I don't know or like some maybe something traumatic and up happening with T-A-O-H I don't know but I just thought that was funny that uh, maybe but instead of just looking at it as my alphabet maybe I was writing stock tickers as a child but that's a, that's a stretch anyway um Stay tuned for that video of how I did on my month and thank you for watching and have a good day.